<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to take the AI. Yeah, okay, 15 seconds. That That's a little bit shorter of a delay than I thought it was. It's a little unfortunate, but, like, I could do it without delay, but then my commentary would be ahead of the gameplay. And, actually, hindsight, with communication together, that would have been, uh Not too much I can do now, because... You take charge. You know, what we'll do is if there's anything urgent that I have to say, I'll just type it in the chat. I do got the window right handy here. But beyond that, like commentary-wise, with a 15 second delay, as long as I'm quick enough, there should be enough time for you to hear. So we got Dragon Tape going over there, so I'm leaning towards the path that... I always tend to go for the path that has the most Pokemon that of that type, so I'm sticking left for the Sneasel and the Bear Tick. That's what I'm going to put down. Let's see. Yeah. Technically, I could do this in a way where my commentary isn't delayed, but then be out of sync with the gameplay. So, like, if I'm... If we find a shiny and I react to it, I'd, I'd probably be freaking out, like, 15 seconds before you all actually see the, the shiny. So, in most gameplay cases, because I normally don't do... When I do video games... I, te I tend to do, like, more story-oriented games or, like, more single-player stuff, so that communication isn't as vital or, like, it's not as bad if it's delayed. But for a mode like this, it might actually have been worth it. Unfortunately, there's not really too much I can do. I'm gonna just take the Dynamax because I'm not sure what else to do. Or I don't think anyone else could really make better use out of it. As I was saying, though... I have to actually, like, close the stream. I have to actually like, monkey around with a setting and then close the stream and reopen it up in order for the setting to take place. So, I mean, at least this way, we have a genuine shiny reaction if something comes up. And it won't be weirdly desynced. So far, so smooth. I completely forgot about the fact that the Dreadnought was part rock, but that was from the AI, so they wouldn't have Dynamax anyways. Unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Me taking the Dynamax was kind of dilly squat. Like, the only benefit that really came out of it. Yeah, I mean, you had the Dragon type, and you are going up against the Dynamax Bear Tick. It unfortunately was inevitable. <laughs> Hopefully we can make up for it by taking this Bear Tick, and having it for the Legendary, and it not being a Dialga. So we can, like, completely obliterate the Legendary Pokémon. So hopefully, in the long run, the damage will- the reward will be worth the damage. Oh, no. I mean, I was half tempted to let you take the Dynamax. So you maybe would have taken the hit? But I don't know if it would have been that much. Like, it would have still have been devastating even as a Dynamax. So, so, I don't know. I was bouncing back and forth. But even if we didn't have a timer on us, we probably wouldn't want to spend all day trying to figure out what was the better way to go. The good news is that we got it now, and hopefully that means the rest of these battles will be a lot smoother. Question is though, who wants the bear tick? Thinking more about it, you have a dragon type, which um, might be end up being good. I s if you have dibs, of course, say in the chat, and as long as it happens relatively soon. Hold off on it, but... Someone should definitely take it. It'll give me a second to see if the AI decides to go for it anyways. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it.
And we'll just hope that it's not the Olga again. Alright. Do we want to go fighting or bug? I'm leaning towards fighting just in case it is the Olga. We'll have some option against it. But I'm overall cool either way. That said, it's about to run now, so I'm just I just hit the fighting button just in case. You know, hindsight, maybe I should have been thinking more outside the box and thought about this sooner. Like, possibly getting a fighting or dragon or fighting or ground type on our team in case it's a type that would otherwise resist the ice type. But hindsight's 2020, we're going to just be aware anyways. It's just a matter of who gets to take it that I'm a little more concerned by. Wasn't expecting to actually have. A super effective option against this thing. Hopefully it'll be enough. The good news with the fracture, the good news is that if it turns out to be Palkia, we kinda would be screwed without an the Ice Types wouldn't do any good, but that Dragon Pokemon probably be good. Who takes Beware? That's what I've been complicating. That's what I've been debating. I'm... It all comes down to which... I don't... Personally, I like if the AI takes it, but that's not guaranteed. We can't guarantee that because it's the AI. I'm a little hesitant to take it because I just picked up this... Frost Bear. We do have the Sneasel coming up, but the, the part of the reason going down this path was so we had two Ice types, so... Hmm. We do have this whole battle to try to sort it out. Yeah. My current game plan is going to be... I'm going to sit, hope the AI takes it, and if they don't, uh, we'll see how low my health is and go from there. I might just pick up the Beware. Oh, no, actually I'm not going to pick up the Beware because I do have close combat. Or I have whatever that fighting type move I've been using on this thing this whole time was. Body Press. I have Body Press, so we have a option if it does end up being Dialga. You know, this, this would have been nice like two turns ago, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm just gonna hope this is enough to take it out before it can chip away at us anymore. Okay, you know what? I didn't think this through when I decided to die to Max. And... The shot... Uh, let's just end it now. I probably would have saved us all the trouble going through the animation if I realized I was going to get that crippled, but... I just realized how unfortunate of timing it would... I really realized how unfortunate it would actually be to let whenever I let Bear Tick Dynamax. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. Alright, time to cross our fingers that the AI actually takes this. Cause I wouldn't blame the AI if Oh you know what? This thing doesn't even have any fighting tape moves anyways. Which is of course means that the AI is, of course, going to take it, because why would they take something useful? <laughs> okay, this way should give us Barry, so if we can somehow survive this ordeal, we can make it to the end. <sighs> I 
Like, if we can survive this without taking any hits, we'll be in good shape for the legendaries, because we can take out this Sneasel, heal up, and get it go. And actually, like, I probably, I definitely shouldn't have Dynamax, because then I could have probably Dynamax now, and definitely taken this thing out. Ah, uh, well, this should still do a good chunk of damage. Also, I apologize to you, Smithy, for being the brave soul that has to take the Dragon type through all these ice types that we're facing, but crossing my fingers that it pays off in the end. That's cool, and though I'm kind of not sh with how low your health was, I'm not sure if that even a Dynamax would be enough to survive. But we can at least hope that we outspeed the Sneasel. Who am I kidding? It's a Sneasel. Oh, okay. Never mind. That was this bright clay. That is right as far as it needs to be. I mean, that was the correct play as far as it needs to be. Now, this won't fully heal you, but it should at least fully heal me and get you in a decent health range. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had a fighting type move as an ice dark type. I was kind of expecting that to happen when it came to be my turn, no matter what. But it's also why I was be preferred to be the one to get the Dynamax, so we could definitely totally obliterate it. But I guess it wouldn't matter because I was so freaking slow that I la I went last anyways. Should you take? Oh, that's a good. I almost want. I almost want to say no because you are the only one with a dragon type. But at the same time, you are kind of weak. Let's see if the AI takes it first. And if the AI doesn't take it, I would be okay either way. Because the berries are going to heal you, I just... Yeah, at least get you in the green. Which could be a problem against the dragon ty type. We have three lives. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I was saying early on. If we can make it all the way here without losing any more, then that early KO would have been well worth it. Because I think literally all but one of the AIs have something to properly handle this Latios? Or Latios? Or Latios. Hmm. I'm just gonna go for the safe Frost Breath for now. If I somehow get the Dynamax first, if I get the Dynamax first, then that gives me more power to use. Ooh. That was not in the game plan. I mean, we are clearing it out pretty well without Dynamaxing, so I think it's going to just come down to who can wipe us, who can hit harder faster. The Latios or us? Oh no, Smithy, once we beat the legendary Pokemon, it's over. We all, no, none of us actually get to use the Latios for anything, like... It'll make more sense at the end, but we're not actually taking the Latios into any battles. This is the this is the boss fight. This is essentially the final fight of the adventure. Part of, you know what? Yeah, I definitely regret going for the Blizzard. The good news is if I hit the Blizzard. It would have taken it out. I should have gone for the freaking safe play. Too little too late, but I'll take it. No, like you catching it. Oh, Smithy. I'm only, I'm only gonna take it if it's shiny, to be perfectly honest. But that doesn't mean you can't. We, we both could take it if we really want. But we, it could, it's all a situation that neither of us could take it. Because again, at the end, it works, how it works is, once we're done with the adventure, we pick one of the four Pokemon we picked up along the way to keep permanently. 
So it doesn't matter who quote unquote takes it. That that is completely up to you if you want to take it, because it doesn't affect if I can take it or not. Same with shiny hunting. Alright. You do have to still quote unquote catch it, of course. But you Because you catch all these Pokemon, but you have to send all but one of them back into the den. How it works in a nutshell. Alright. While we're going through the ending animations, I guess I'll leave it up to you. You want to do another round of this, or you want to, like, scavenge around the area and find more dens, and see if we can find another Sinchino or something. Because, I'm kind of... <laughs> We only take shinies this stream. That's a good model. Alright, triple check that I'm not missing anything obvious in the visuals. No sparkles on my end. All these stats are kind of crummy. You know, the bear tick was MPV for me, so I'm going to take it home if only for sentimental value. And I have to take something. You know what? I got a name in mind for you, too. You happen to be male, you just happen to be the same species and gender as my quote unquote competitive bear tick. And I say quote unquote because, like, a long time ago, in like the X and Y days, I did a few competitive videos and for the fun of it, I had like a Persona themed team. So the bear tech was Teddy, and like I made it work by being super annoying with a track hacks. Looks like that. Alright. 